Hello everybody. It's just a few days after Christmas and I wanted to provide you with an update as to what I've been doing with uh, Chipper Pro Cub and Ultra Cub. And the answer, the short version, is a lot. Today I'm going to show you the majority of the fuselage structure, show you some uh, things that have been added to make it structurally more complete, uh, show you uh, how I've added metal to the uh, fuselage, metalized the fuselage, and can show you what that looks like. And uh, I'm just super excited because uh, next week, right after the first of the year, I'm going to start building the uh, cabin and the fuselage. So i got to get this stuff done so I can do that. Uh, but in any case, let's just dig right in. Um, I'm going to, first of all, give you just a look around the aircraft right now. You can see the wings. <clears throat> I removed the engine and the propeller. Uh, this particular skin that I'm highlighting there, those are translucent so you can see through them. The top skin, uh, it'll actually look a lot better than that. This is the best I could pull off on short notice for a CAD representation of the uh, top of the fuselage in metal. Uh, if you want an idea what it would look like, go look at the existing Chipper 2 photos that uh, have a metal fuselage and have a really nice smooth uh, sexy looking lines on the top of the fuselage that I'm trying to match. But uh, continuing our look around the airplane here, uh, we can see the other side. I've left it open so you can see clearly inside. In other words, this skin isn't on. The bottom skin is on and we're shadowing through a bunch of our fuselage formers and features. So we can see that as well. Uh, we can see that there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on in the cabin that uh, didn't used to be there. Ducking under the wing and continuing to take a look around, uh, we can see that a lot of the parts now have uh, part numbers on them. In fact, just about everything that's in the fuselage and cabin now has a part number. Uh, it's been put into a separate spreadsheet, which I can briefly show you there. You can see that right now we're targeting a weight of 34 pounds. But what that's for? What is that for? Uh, I'll explain that as well here in a bit. Uh, you can see that something is just a little different with the landing gear. Uh, they're canted backwards a few degrees and they've been moved up to the proper bulkhead. Uh, I'm still borrowing CAD from Chipper 2. So these are a little, uh, probably just a little larger than what's realistic for uh, uh, at least a super lightweight variation of this plane. Uh, coming around to the front, you can see that uh, the structural bars have been added there. And hey, there's a poster floating in the middle of the CAD. What does it say? Oh, we got terms and conditions. Uh, by the way, I'm, uh, I'm making uh, uh, these uh, blueprints over time available on Patreon. If you haven't already, I appreciate your support. But that is the way to purchase the blueprints, is to become a member of Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. Uh, you get a continuing stream of computer-aided design CAD and the design for the uh, Pro Cub and Ultra Cub uh, as they emerge over time. And I do appreciate my Patreon members. I got a bunch, but I need a bunch more, so I'd appreciate your help. Uh, ending up here around the front, we can do some really cool-looking photos uh, zooming in underneath. But in any case... What we're going to do now is remove a bunch of stuff and then zoom in on just the fuselage and cabin. I'm going to cut out the wing. I'm going to cut out the other wing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the landing gear and the rudder. And uh, let's zoom in. Now we can have an even better look at this beautiful structure. Uh, many of the elements that you see are here are honeycomb. I know there's the debate as to the cost of honeycomb and uh, please bear with me there as I consider alternative strategies. Uh, I do own some honeycomb and uh, I'm looking forward to making this one. I've designed it so it uses honeycomb extremely efficiently. Uh, the only part that is large cut out of honeycomb is that uh, vertical stabilizer and I'm proud to say that whole part weighs about one kilogram or about two two and a quarter pounds somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, now let's zoom in we can have a look here you can see that the uh, gussets have been created 
Uh, this grayed out area, that's metal. It's metalized, just as is the rest of the fuselage. Uh, we've got loads being carried through honeycomb and side gussets there. Uh, we have gussets carrying all of our loads around the cabin. Uh, we have uh, 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 thrust loads from the engine being carried directly up into the wings. Of course, all those thrust loads are being carried back through here as well. Um, we can see that we've got honeycomb underneath the seats. So this is an incredibly strong bar of honeycomb aluminum support in your butt. And this is up here at the front. And then there's a third honeycomb aluminum bulkhead, uh, which is used for the attachment of the landing gear. Uh, very similar to the way that I did it in Chipper 2. You can see how the angles have already been modeled and cut in CAD. And, oh, what's that cool purple thing? Let's take a look at that. That is our center of gravity. Now, I still have it set a little low relative to height, but it's pretty accurate to the uh, where our center of gravity should relate to the uh, firewall. And we'll be able to check that as we get the thing built as, as well. Um, rotating underneath here, let's have a closer look at the metalization on the bottom. Uh, we've got the bottom. Uh, from a practical point of view, this entire piece of thing here will probably be cut in two pieces of aluminum and then lapped over right here on the carry-through strut. Uh, we'll be talking about that in a little bit as well. And then it's riveted in. This is angle. So we'll have rivets, so probably about every inch all the way down. And then, like I said, one piece of aluminum skin here at the front, another piece of aluminum skin here at the bottom. This carry-through tube that I mentioned, I've highlighted it now in blue. That's a one-inch tube. It's designed to carry the lift strut carry-through and to facilit facilitate easy folding of the wings. Up at the top, uh, we have aluminum tubes as well, uh, uh, where the wing connects to with pins coming through here and here on both sides. I wanted to point out some of the detail of the uh, gussets. Uh, since I have got the shop bot back up and running, I can now make metal parts. So all these gussets here um, can come pre-drilled uh, and uh, ready to drop into position, which uh, I think should make things uh, just pretty easy. All of the fuselage formers are made from a combination of a piece of honeycomb, which is riveted to aluminum members on the side, which in turn then is riveted to a honeycomb former uh, at the top. You make that as one piece. You do that one, two, three, four times. Fit it with your rudder. Uh, there's some glue involved as well, some rivets. But uh, uh, this is sort of like a big model airplane. Um, so I'm just trying to make it as easy as I can to put together. I'm not trying to do anything complicated. I'm trying to make it so that uh, the end result is really beautiful and uh, super lightweight and basically state-of-the-art uh, in uh, ultralight aircraft. But, uh, uh, I think that's a pretty good place for us to wrap up today. Uh, the summary is uh, fuselage is just about completely designed and we have a... Uh, 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 metal that's going on to the skins of the uh, aircraft uh, along with uh, 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 use of honeycomb uh, where it's very strategically advantageous to give us uh, weight, uh, strength, lightweight and uh, super good strength and uh, ease of construction. So I've challenged myself to get a, a good looking uh, fuselage and cabin uh, up and assembled next week. No, I won't have all the rivets in, but I want it to look like this in the worst way. Who knows? Maybe it can be done. Maybe it can't. Uh, meanwhile, uh, if this is appealing to you, uh, consider my Patreon where you can get uh, over time the blueprints and the CAD that lets you build one of your own or uh, use that as a way to indicate to me that you're uh, getting eager to purchase a uh, ready to fly version. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm looking forward to a great new year and I uh, uh, just appreciate having this opportunity to share some time with you. Thanks and have a great day.